Oh my goodness. It's here. I can finally do this. I don't want to watch you. We've already seen this. No. And also plug in my remote. I really don't want to see this again. Can I like hit stuff? No. Okay, cool, we can. Skip it. Alright, so... Welcome to Chrono Trigger Part 1. Today I am legit just going to go over some things and that's it, so. Now my friend is also doing a let's play of this game and it's going to be blind for him. I will not be playing this blind. In fact, I made an appearance in his first video. So, I might link you guys to that. No, it's might. But, anyway... Apparently our main character is sleeping. Alright, so I'm going to let you guys read the dialogue there, I'm not going to read it for you. And sometimes the... It just like, holds up. Kind of. So... Sorry about that beforehand. Come on, Chrono. Out of bed with you. Alright, so, as I've already explained, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot. I'm just going to be going over some things here. So, I am using an Alienware? No, not Alienware. What am I thinking Alienware? Uh... What are they called? An Afterglow PS3 controller for this, so if you want to know, I'm going to be setting battle speed to very fast, battle message speed to moderate, and we already have the weight thing. Um, in terms of cursed memory, I'm going to be going full because that helps out a lot. And movement both. There will be a time where I actually have to set it to walk. And then I actually have to use the controls on the screen. But, uh... And that part's... I only have to do that once, by the way, so... I do actually have to use the controls on screen. Sorry about that, but, uh... Yeah. So, other than that... Let's see our equipment. We have a wooden sword, hide cap, 
hide tunic, and a headband. Headband is awesome, by the way, because speed is really important. Speed maxes out at 16, so basically what speed does is how fast you can do something in battle, so there's a little kind of like ATB bar below the character's HP, you can see, and it is what, well, how fast that fills is determined by your speed stat, so the more characters you have with max speed, the better. However, throughout the course of the game, we will be finding speed tabs, which raise speed, and we'll be only using them on Chrono. Because I want Chrono to be the fastest by the end, because I need him in order to grind. And when I say grind, I mean grind for post-game. Because I'm only doing one run-through, and we're only seeing, like, two endings. So, main ending, and then final super boss ending. Y'all can suck it. I don't want to do every ending for this game. Because that will literally take an eternity. So. Also, I have one save already made. And that save is for a the second super boss, I should say. But that's not going to be for until I beat the game. So, I will get back to that whenever we get back to that. So, what text do you have? Oh, you need five for Cyclone. Hmm. No items at all. Already filled out our settings, and cool. So, another thing I want to go over. Why are you walking? Meant to set you on both. Okay. So, one more thing I want to go over. is This game will only allow you to have three party members in a battle, unlike a lot of RPGs beforehand, which allow you to have four, maybe five. But, basically... So, on top of... So, because you only have three members, uh, this isn't really spoiling anything, but each character in the game is only going to have eight or so normal techs, but then they have dual techs, which is between two characters, and then triple techs, which is between three characters, and a whole lot of them use a chrono. Not even joking, I think there's eight. No, there, there isn't eight. There can't be eight that use Chrono, but there's a lot that use Chrono. And not a whole lot that use... Not Chrono. I think there's like four that don't use Chrono. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Don't know for sure. And the only one, the one, every single one that does not use Chrono requires an item. So, <laughs> items required for special techniques that look really awesome. I will only be showing those off and won't really be using them in any boss fights. There is one party that I will use for a super boss that is a really cheap party and yeah. So, anyway, after all this... See, it's been going for about seven minutes-ish, so <clears throat> let's get down here, because I do actually want to do this before we go. So yeah, you're fair. Well, also. Yeah, if you talk to your mom, you get 200 gil. Um, and the cat meows, I don't know if you can hear that, but... If you can hear that, good job. I can hardly hear it. 
and I'm currently recording all the audio at once under a blanket, so... Yeah, I think we're gonna end it here. So... I will see you all... next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Bye!